Hey YouTube, it's Lip Bone Queen here. Just want to get on here today, and I wanted to show y'all my new um, beauty books I picked up from Walgreens. The only one I haven't picked up is The Evil Queen, and the reason why was I was a little iffy if I wanted to get it at first because I was really just going to go for one book, and then I was like, no, I collect these. I need to get all three. So, the first book that um, I picked up at Walgreens, um, these are the Disney Villains uh, beauty books. I don't think Elf makes them this time. It says it's distributed by Walgreens, and it doesn't say anything about Elf, so... I think they're just like the Dare to Dream books. They're not made by Elf, but they, they are distributed from Walgreens only. Um, the first one that I picked up in the collection was uh, the Disney Villains Cast a Spell book. And it has Maleficent on the front. I fell in love with this book when I saw it. Um, and you know that I'm a huge Ariel fan. And you think that I would have picked up the Ursula one first. But I picked it up and then I heard some mixed reviews on it. I, they said that the... Uh, you know, like the shimmery colors are just sprayed over. They're not really, like, shimmery. So I was kind of a little bummed out on that. I was like, should I get it or should I not? So what I ended up doing was the first book that I even picked up was this here. And this was the Cast a Spell book. I picked this one up because I just fell in love with the colors. I thought, you know what? That this screams like a color I would wear because the darker colors with the purple in it. I definitely knew I was going to get that. So I was like, that's the one I'm going to pick up. So inside you have your mirror like normal, which I'm trying not to blind you with. And um, then you have these awesome colors. I was impressed with these because of the purple shades. So I was like, yes, I want this. So you have these beautiful colors here. And I just, I fell in love with them. And I was like, you know what, that's the book I'm going to get. Because I was trying to be reasonable on this. And I thought, no, I've got to get all the beauty books. Because I've got my collection going. And these are the only ones that I'm aware of uh, that were left that I needed. Um, so, I still need to get the Evil Queen. But I'm going to be getting that soon if I can find it. My stores are selling out of the Evil Queen for some reason. So, anyways, this one here comes with... Um, nine shadows and it comes with a bronzer um, a liquid liner a lipstick an eye primer and an eyeshadow brush that was another reason why I picked this one up was because I seen it had an eyeshadow primer in it and I was like yes because I love me some eyeshadow primer and then I saw this beautiful uh, lipstick in here oh my gosh this color is gorgeous I cannot wait to swatch it for you guys and then the uh, awesome brush I love the fact that it has the um, the little design on the bottom I absolutely love that that's a really nice brush too I it's very it's kind of heavy too it's a really nice sturdy brush can't wait to use that and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the liquid liner it's just a normal black liquid liner it's called Diablo that's the color I don't know if my camera will focus my camera hasn't been wanting to focus on things for a while there it is Diablo so I thought that was a really nice liquid liner and then this lipstick, if I can get it out, because these books are the hardest things to get things out of. Like the little products. Let me see if I can pop it out of the book for you guys. Because I really want to show y'all. It's such a beautiful color. That is one thing I've heard a lot of people say, that it's really hard to get the products out of the book. It is, because they try to wedge it in there so it doesn't fall out. I understand why they do it, but makes it hard for us so here is the color lipstick and it's called revenge now what a beaut it's a small little lipstick but look how beautiful that color is I will swatch it for you guys and it has the little push up that you can push the product up and here is that beautiful color look how gorgeous that is it almost has a shimmer to it um, I was a huge fan of that and I do sniff my lipsticks. I know that sounds weird or may look weird, but I like to make sure it doesn't have that lipstick smell. You know that if the product's older, it has that lipstick smell. I know you know what I'm talking about. I definitely wanted to make sure it doesn't have a smell to it because I hate that smell of lipsticks. And then we have an eyeshadow primer. And um, let's see, it's called Sheer Magic. Try not to squeeze it too hard. I don't want it. And it's just a normal little sheer, you know, I primer like a normal nude color. Um, but that's the little products in the book. And then you have a bronzer here, and I will swatch it for you guys. It's called Evil Enchant Enchantress. Goodness, I can't talk today, guys. 
It's Monday. Everybody has those days. And it looks like this here. It's almost like, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a bronzer. No, it's a blush. Excuse me. <laughs> I take that back. It was like a brownish shade, so I assumed it was a, a bronzer. But you could technically use it as a bronzer. But it's a pretty, like, peach shade. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so you could use it as a bronzer or a blush. Whatever you really want to use it for. I might use it as a, a bronzer. But, um, then you have these beautiful nine shadows, which I will swatch for you. And I will try my best to do good on swatches, because I really think at doing swatches with shadows. But, um, I will do it for you guys. Let me see if I can get this thing to... Alright. So let's swatch these things for you guys. There's some really beautiful colors in this book. So here's the first three colors. It's called Slumber, Slotted, and Vanish. And I don't even know if you can see my light here, but you got um, Slumber, Slotted, and this green color is called Vanish. Um, let's see what else I can do here. Then you got some darker colors. And then you have um, this dark color here is called Fairy. Then you got this dark purple, it's called F Flame. Which it almost looks like a black on my camera, but it's not. It's a purple, a dark, dark purple. And then you've got one called Spindle, and that's the green. I think that green is gorgeous. Then you have three more colors, and these go really into the dark here. Um, let's see. Trying to get a good swatch for you guys. Okay. So then this dark black color here, it's kind of shimmery, it's called Dragon. Then you have um, this shimmery purple called Spellbound. And then you have this darker purple shade is called Bramble. So this one right here is Bramble. So all together, these are the colors. I know I'm a terrible swatcher, but I'm just trying to show you the idea of the colors. They have some beautiful colors in this book. I was very excited to pick this book up because I knew there would be colors that I would definitely wear. And like they, people have been saying about the books, these shimmery colors, um, they are like an overspray. Like that one there is supposed to be one of the shimmery ones out of the book, and this one's in slotted. And it is... It does come off as a beautiful purple. I don't see any shimmer after I swatch it. Um, it's just a matte color. But um, they're still gorgeous no matter what, guys. So this is definitely a good value. This was $9.99 at, um, at Walgreens. And I love how it's like a magnetic shut, so it shuts good. These are really good quality books, and I'm glad I purchased this. This is the number one. I had to grab this one. It comes with the nine eye shadows. It comes with a blush, which you could use as a bronzer because it is dark enough. Um, then it comes with a liquid eyeliner, a lipstick, and a primer, and an eyeshadow brush. So um, I'm excited for this. $9.99 was an excellent deal for this at Walgreens. So if you're interested in pur purchasing these, you need to go ahead and get to your Walgreens because they go really quick. Um, and there is other things like OPI nail polishes that go with each set. Um, and you have... Um, like lip products and then with the Ursula book you also have like a shimmering powder um, I haven't picked that up I've been a little iffy on if I want to get it or not because I don't really use a whole lot of things I love glitter but I don't use a lot of things with shimmery stuff like I don't use a whole lot so I'm kind of debating if I want to get it or not it is a reasonably priced product I just haven't figured out if I want to get it yet or not but also I did pick up the Disney villains uh, cast a spell beauty book and the Ursula and I will be uh, cutting this video in half because I don't want to make it a super long video. But um, I will do a part two to this beauty book so you can see um, you can see this one here, the Ursula. And I will do swatches for you guys just like I did in this video. So just stay tuned and um, watch this next video and I will do the Ursula book for you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.